I'm Tini from Mini Bowl Design. Uh, if this turned out right, you should have just watched a little clip of my uh, windmill out in the dooryard. It's uh, getting evening now. It's the lights starting to get down. It's snowed all day. It's kind of gloomy outside, so it wasn't a real good picture. But uh, I wanted to talk about the windmill. Uh, this windmill was made from a set of plans. I, I built it from scratch out of my shop. All the welding and everything. Uh, the materials cost me $350, so it really was not a big investment. I originally made a wooden set of blades for it, and those got eroded a few times when we had high wind and, and some uh, hailstorms. So uh, this summer I took those blades off and replaced them with a set of fiberglass blades, which I could not believe how cheap they were. Three solid fiberglass blades, four and a half feet long, which gave me a nine-foot circle. Uh, for $85, so it has fiberglass blades on it now. But since then, I've purchased a fairly big lathe and milling machine, and now that windmill doesn't produce enough electricity to run the uh, lathe and milling machine as much as I want to. So I found a place that will come right in and do a turnkey installation of a 12 foot mill, which is like three times the size of the mill I have now. Every foot you increase the blades is, is huge on your overall output. It's uh, a system that um, they will come in, put in an 80 or 100 foot, I think it's an 80 foot tower, 12 foot mill. All the electronics, pylons, it works. Turnkey operation. And how that's designed is. Uh, when the windmill is running, it's wired right into the grid and it turns your meter backwards. So if you're using electricity and you crank up an electricity bill, as the wind blows, the windmill will pump electricity back in and erase your electricity bill. When it gets down to zero, so you've generated, say, a little more electricity than you've actually used, they won't send you a check. They won't pay you if any. But but you can e erase your electricity bill by using one of these mills. And a 12 foot mill in this area probably would generate enough electricity most of the year to completely erase my electricity bill. Um, now the downside of this is the turnkey installation for a 12 foot mill is between seventeen and twenty thousand dollars. But uh, much of that is uh, uh, the government has programs where they'll pay you a lot of that back. They'll uh, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, they will pay you probably half of that you'll get back uh, through tax deductions or whatever. I'm not real familiar with it. So, you know, it's probably an eight or a $10,000 investment. Uh, and I think the business will probably pay for that, and then it would generate the electricity for the business. Uh, now, if there's not going to be any electricity, if there's a power outage, like an ice storm or something, then you'd want batteries. But I already have batteries with my small mill, and they'll run a lot of this stuff in the house, and they'll run the blower on my furnace and stuff like that. So I'd probably stay with that. Uh, but, you know, that's a thought. Now, I'm really, Sue and I are seriously thinking about doing that. Um, so that's the scoop on windmills, and if you have any more questions on windmills, just put them on the comments below this video. So I'm Kenny from Mini Bowl Design. Uh, get out and hike. Take a friend. Cook some really great meals out on the trail. Just generally enjoy yourself. And more important than anything, have a really great day. Bye-bye.